in the War Memorial Museum. The petition statement reads, a petition of the Institute for Research and Democratic Development and the Liberia Massacre Association addressed to the chairman, uh, Honorable Gongu, Gongu L. Kagon, Chairman Committee on Claims, Petition, Human Rights, House of Representatives, Capitol Hill, Liberia. Pursuant to Article 17 of the Liberian Constitution, the Institute for Research and Democratic Development, in collaboration with the Liberia Massacre Survivors Association, Limasa, and the Independent Human Rights Investigators, is pleased to submit for legislative action this statement of petition requesting the Liberian legislature through this relevant committee of the Honorable House of Representatives, the Committee on Claims, Petition, and Human Rights to kindly enact this citizens-oriented legislation title and act to memorialize the Liberian civil conflict by establishing the War Memorial Museum. This petition comes in direct recognition of the truth and Reconciliation Commission TRC report that calls for the memorialization of the Liberian Civil War as a reminder to this generation and the generations of Liberians to come about a devastating divide and impact the Civil War caused on the basic national fabric of Liberia. ARED, with support from the African Transitional Justice, is in collaboration with partners, including the Massa that is present here, are of the conviction that when the Memorial Act is established, will help to strengthen and foster national cohesive interests and respect to prevent reoccurrence of civil mayhem of any kind, most especially during this political period. Thanks. And it is agreed by myself, Matthias M. Yene, on this date, Peter Singh K. Sonwa, standing right near him from the Massa, and Adama Denster from the Civil Society Human Rights Platform. Thank you. This is a copy of the act, and this is a copy of the petition statement. So the petitioners, on behalf of the committee, responsible to uphold this petition, I'm highly gratified and honored, especially witnessing the Liberian civil crisis, which has brought us to this their end. I wish, uh, in previous time, we were all took on the same step in petitioning governments and petitioning people, and the world would not have been here today. But as you submit this to me and the committee, I'm not the chair of the committee, I will ask the chairman to receive it and to submit it to plenary. Considering that we are a few days to uh, having a break for the 26th, I can assure you that the chairman of the committee, Kagon, uh, Honorable Kagon, will receive this petition and will do the most necessary thing in firing it to the plenary and the speaker as well. Once more again, thank you for taking on this action, a peaceful action to petition your lawmaker and to petition the Liberian people to do the right thing. My name is Honorable C.B. Bashir. I'm the co-chair of this committee. And as I said, I will do all in my power and working to make sure that the chairman of this committee be able to follow it to plenary. And please don't hesitate to call my attention to push forward your petition <coughs> as per the working so forth. So once more again, thank you so much for being here and following the rep uh, precepts in petitioning your people, especially the Liberian people and their representative. God bless you and thank you so much. Thank you. On our CB all right, so uh, my name is Springs, and I report for Focus on Liberia and Pram FN from, Li from Monrovia. Focus on Liberia is from the U.S. I want to ask a few questions. Uh, you represent 
Alright, the executive director of Alright. And then in collaboration with other uh, civil servants that were have petitioned the legislature to memorial, uh, memorialize uh, the civil conflict in Liberia and other kinds of things. What is, what is the importance of such act? Why you think it should be legislated? Thank you. And let me also say I'm here with my colleague from the Massa, okay. which is the Liberal you know, Survival Association. Yeah. Uh, so they, they will also give you right hand information as to why the importance of this act. Uh, this act is important because it is not just to, um, we, we, we have advocacy around the, the uh, establishment of war and economic crimes code, but we also think that memorializing people who are victims of the war, you know, also bring the, the kind of uh, 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 consulates to their hearts and also remind our generation to come that war is not the way, not the way forward. We need to dialogue, we need to go to peaceful elections, and if, of course, we do not want a particular government or individuals, we go towards the democratic process. And that's why this, this act is very important. It is not just, it is also a, a part of the recommendations of the Liberia TRC report that we should have a war memorial to memorialize our dead. We need to respect the people who lay their lives down for the freedom that we enjoy today. What are your fears if this is not legislated? What will happen? Uh, this is. I, I really do not have a fear because I know and believe that the legislature uh, uh, is in the has a, in, is, is working for the people and is going to make sure that what the people say today there are mass of people who are here mm -hmm. along with people who are victims of the war. So there is an evident that uh, it's the Liberian people who are speaking and there are lawmakers who listen. Of course, I, I, of course, he listened to Honorable Bashir. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he's here, he can also, you know, you can ask, ask him some of the questions that you, you need to ask him to make sure that this act is passed by the, by, by the legislature. All right, let me ask you also, are you also in partnership with Arich to have this petition here at the legislature today? Uh, so let me ask this other question that I, I think asking. Uh, have you spoken with some of the victims of the Liberian civil conflict? Uh, what do they tell you as it relates to this act? Thank you so much, I'm Benedict T. Sonyak. Uh, representing the executive director, he should have loved to be here, but he's in a week-long training. Executive uh, director. The executive director of Liberia Massacre Survivor Association, the Massacre. The Massacre are institutions. Um, we have embarked on identifying new massacre sites, and the TRT report we call it 205 massacre site. We, as an institution, we identify it is seven new massacre sites in six of the 15 counties. Bapolo, Bome, Bong, Basa, Riverside, and Lofa County. Now, in this process, you get to know that the community themselves are carrying on memorial process. In November, while in Lofa, uh, in Kalahun, Kalahun, over 33 persons were killed, and the community now have built a memorial site. So, if the community are taking ownership of this, I think uh, we want to appreciate our work for this process because we want for the government to take ownership of this. We want a holistic process so that we will be able to have ev historical evidence of the war. If you go, many, many people don't know the basketball court at the St. Peter Lutheran Church. Even the students there don't know. That we're having there. So if you go there now, you see two stars there representing, I mean, it's a symbol, symbol of the over 600 persons that were killed at St. Peter Lutheran Church were buried there. The students there don't know. So if we have a monument indicating that this happened during the war, I mean, it, it will provide information to those who are not aware of the situation. So as a community themselves are engaged, like in Kamata Hun, they, they built monument and they listed all of the people that died in Kamata Hun and Kola Hun this week. So uh, I want to appreciate Ara and then our partnership with them. I know, like he asked, well, what's your fear about whether the legislature will pass the act and so on? I mean, all of us are victims. I was shocked when I listened to on Okoga on OK. I didn't know that his father died on, during the war. When I listened to it with you, and I know that certainly uh, in our legislature wisdom, this identical act will pass and it will be in the interest of the Liberian people. Okay. Don't you think uh, this will bring bad memories to uh, meet them, like uh, people that lost their parents, their family members during this time? Yeah, obviously, I mean, 
we, we cannot forget about the memory. My son, my vehicle was in Peter Lutri. I was baby when my father was killed there. And many times, July 29, I, some of our victims, like a uh, lady, each time she appeared on that compound July 29, she always hear tears and so. But I mean, basically, our concern is to, to, to have a, I mean, a kind of reference that people who are not aware of the situation will be able to know that this thing happened, and you know, at this point, at this time, by this group, and by this organization. That's our focus. But obviously, I, I, I can tell you that, like even my uncle, over 30 years now, he still has wounds, all have wounds in him, he's bleeding. So obviously, you will not forget the memory. All right. Thank you so much for speaking to us. I'd like to also, also, also chat with the, the, uh, the lawmaker. Honorable Bashir, you received the petition from Liberian citizen at headed by the right. I mean, I just like to ask you, the legislature itself, uh, hence in this cookie jar, what do I mean by that? There are members in this legislature that are also uh, part of the Liberian Civil War. Some of them were fashion leaders. Uh, some of them were were warlords. They, 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 they even had their name on the, in the TRC listing. How do you think someone are going to respond to this petition when you submit it today on the floor? Well, I would not speak for anybody. I myself too is a victim of the war, a victim of circumstances in the country, the history of this country. I'm a victim of it. And I think my duty here is to take the petition on behalf of the Liberian people, take the petitions as a representative of government, as a representative of the people, to follow it and to support it in its necessary form, which I can do. And I think considering its etymology, are based on the fact that you want to send a memorial structure. Uh, I think any meaningful person would say for themselves, those people who went for the war, who perpetrated the war, who perpetrated crimes, they themselves, one with the other, are victims of the war. So I can assure you that if they want a memorial, everybody will think about a memorial. So looking forward to, the, to your question, I'm ready, I'm prepared to submit it to plenary to my chairman and making sure that the chairman do the most requisite thing, and that's why I'm calling on the petitioners to see reason not to worry and not to faint or to press forward after the break because I'm submitted to them. And I hope I answer your question. Yeah. Honorable Chair, you've been a lawmaker and also you are a court chair in that community. Uh, from your perspective, do you really support this petition? Well, I already said it, madam. I said, uh, a petition to have a memorial, a petition to have a memorial for us to remember what have happened in this country. Uh, being a part in the playwright, I would like, I would have liked to say something about stressing it because uh, the war is one thing, and unity should be part of it because I would want people not to have violence and non-violence issue in my district. I speak about non-violence issue. So although you're talking about the war now, but then look at the fight of this petition. Uh, to say uh, young people should not involve themselves into immoral things, uh, violence in any form. So I think in your question, uh, supportive ever since before the position. From the USA. Thank you. Thank you so much for speaking to us. I'm greatly honored. Thank you too. All right, so my name is Prince. This is Focus on Liberia. We've been here with uh, people from Arik. Arik is a research. Uh, Institute for Research and Democratic Development. They've come to petition the legislature. This is the panel. It's a petition. Uh, Institute for Research and Democratic Development, ARET for short, with funding from uh, African Transitional Justice Legacy Fund, ATJLF, submits to the Liberian legislature an act to memorialize the Liberian civil conflict by legislating the memorial act. It will be submitted on July 18, 2023, but it's done today. Thanks for following us. Thanks for watching. My name is Prince Mobile. Do join us another time for another live broadcast. Until another time, I'm out. Bye-bye.